I'm so excited. Let's just was redeemed hydrating. Good lord, I got that. That's a that's a big that's a damn big alert. Thank you for the uh, the hydrating blush. Love you, bitch. I actually just got like a big, big, big cup of water before we started, so. <coughs> and that right there is part of the reason why we're just kind of doing a chill day today. Hmm. Uh, part of me wanted to do games today, but I'm just like, you know what, can we, I actually asked Carissa before we started, I was like, Carissa, can we just do like, just like this talking stream? And Carissa was like, yeah. So I'm like, Yay. Uh, so hello everyone who's coming in so far. We've got Jenny, we got Johnny, we got Mally. And I was asking how we're doing today. I'm still fighting this damn cough, but other than that, I'm doing okay. Peachy. I'm vertical. Uh, <sighs> you just reminded me of uh, something I had... You know, you know, you know when you're just like doom scrolling on the phone late at night, and you come across random shit that make you go, "What the fuck did I just come across?" Uh huh. There was one that I swear to God, this is real. Um, I swear to God. Person posed a hypothetical question, and actually, give me a second. I'm gonna put on some little ambient music in the background. So that way people can have some nice little background music. Um, I'm going to say right now, I am not posing this question. So please do not answer. I would not expect anyone to answer. Um, it was just such a bizarre hypothetical that I had to share it with someone to be like, what the fuck kind of question is that? And Fox reminded me of it because of his response to how is he feeling today. How's the music now, Blush? Hey, Spidey. Hi, Spidey. I wish I could figure out volume levels better because right now, like, the music's at four. <laughs> mm. uh, I mean, it is supposed to just be kind of background ambiance, so it's, it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, so this hypothetical which would you rather have? A horizontal mouth? And, blush, no sorry, is that, that's, that's me. It's. it's I think it's something with my setup. It always sounds different to other people. I wish I had a way to, to make it more uniform so I could hear what everyone else is hearing. Um, but yeah, so would you rather have a horizontal mouth? Not a horizontal, no, a vertical mouth. So the opposite of what we have. Uh-huh. Or a horizontal butt crack. <laughs> Now, again, I do not expect anyone to answer. I do not necessarily want anyone to answer. I just wanted to share that I had heard that hypothetical because, bro, what the fuck? I mean... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Honestly? I mean, I, you said not to answer, but still. But you, you, you can if you want to. I'm not going to... It's more yeah, just that the, I was trying not to crack. make a giant discussion about it. I'd say a horizontal butt crack. <laughs> and I mean, come on, if you had a horizontal mouth, your your head would be so much longer. I mean, but would it necessarily, still... or would your nose just kind of be on the side of your face? Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. Someone was like, it would make eating tacos easier. <laughs> you wouldn't have to like tilt your head to the side to eat the taco. <laughs> Uh, 
Lord, I apologize. I'm pleased to be at the thing he's in the beginning. Amen. Yeah. Like I said, it's just... Morning. Go ahead, Chris. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, that's just such a random question. Man. I'm like, who, how do you even think to come up with something like that? But what were you going to say? One could argue that I already have a vertical mouse. Oh. Oh my. God damn it. <laughs> this music is... What? This music is weirdly, like, not fitting at all for this moment. <laughs> I guess that would also work if you had a vertical mouth for eating of tacos. <laughs> hmm. I mean, they would be oriented just right. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, you'd basically just be the nurse from uh, Unhappy Campers. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh. still better than uh, Jake Tucker from Family Guy. The kid with the upside-down face. Yeah. Who apparently also doesn't have a butt crack, so he's got the worst of both. <laughs> and to think this... I mean, this came into discussion because Fox talked about him being vertical today. <sighs> yep. All oh, Fox's fault. So yeah, today's just a day where y'all are more than welcome to, you know, chat with us, ask us questions, and answer as best we can <sighs> sometimes it's nice to just have a chill day yeah it is Uh, let me see. What was in the news today? Oh, I finally got some actual people wanting to get some of the stuff that I was putting on Marketplace, so that's nice. Nice! Yeah, so, that's good. <laughs> uh, there was one who contacted me the other day. Uh, it was yesterday, actually, they were trying to contact me about uh, one of the sets of manga that I was selling. And they were just very nice about it and everything like that. And um, they said they had no problem waiting for me to get back to them because they knew I was at work yesterday when they messaged me and all that stuff. And I was like, well, I'm just, I just want to say thank you for being so polite about everything, you know. We deal with so many of those random bots here. And Boxy Covers has fallen down the foxhole. Welcome, Boxy. Welcome. Hello, Boxy. But yeah, um, I was like, you deal with all these random ass bots and, and things that just, they, uh, they don't, like, they don't, they're just wasting your time. And she was like, yeah, I, we had the same issue a few months back. We were selling a piano and it was just horrible. And some of them were like random people from Bulgaria. And I was like, what the heck? Uh, thankfully, they were, apparently they were able to sell their piano uh, eventually. So that's good. But uh, I'm supposed to be meeting up with them this weekend to sell them the manga set, so that'll be nice. A little bit of extra change. Nice. Mm -hmm. Load up now. Apparently, there's gonna be a Zelda movie. They better not get up. I'm just saying that right now. So, the thing, I don't think they will. 
just because just like with the mario movie miyamoto is apparently working very closely with the uh the people on this one. Oh, it is miyamoto okay then yeah th that's he's the one who actually announced it so like coming soon chris pratt is yeah <laughs> yeah okay uh... now we'll say depending on whichever version they end up doing Chris Pratt is Navi. Ah. Yeah, uh, listen, Link, I'm I mean, just going to tell you, you're, you're going to have to go over it? here, man. <laughs> Let's see. Don't tell you again. You're going to have to listen up. Hey, listen. The one thing, the, the thing is, I kind of hope they don't go with, like, the overly cliche cho uh, choices that some people have like there are people who are like oh yes make link tom holland then it's like there's other actors yeah that live action play would play it better than tom holland i what i find just a little bit fu funny is that they're teaming with sony that's it's kind of funny yeah Now, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm seeing a bunch of different yeah. things, right? And it's like, person who's directing it, I think, is the one who did uh, the Venom movies and Morbius. And some people have said, like, oh, well, we know what this means now. And I said, oh, does it mean that a movie that actually isn't as bad as people are making it out to be is going to get memed into oblivion until people start laughing at it? Not really trying to appreciate the movie for what it is at all. Yeah. All before the movie even comes out. Let me see. Sony's co-financing new film with Avi Arad and Sh Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, set to produce and West Ball directing. But yeah, people are just... Maze Runner, of, that kind of bull crap, and I'm like, he, like people, people, like shit on Morbius and all that stuff. Morbius was not that bad of a movie as much as people like dunk on it. I'm not gonna say it was a cinematic masterpiece, but I, I enjoyed it. I, did, I wouldn't say I wasted my time on it. Haven't seen it. Excuse me. Johnny's like, I hope they don't make him talk like the nil. <laughs> well, excuse me, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, Carissa, you see, you at least saw the first uh, Venom movie, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. There are people who still say that that was a bad movie. And I'm like, it's not as good as it could have been if it was the rated R cut we were supposed to get. But I wouldn't say it's a bad movie. Yeah, it would have been so much better if it was rated R. Honestly, I'm a little surprised they restricted um, the second one to be uh, PG-13 still. But, you know, it is what it is, and uh, c'est la vie. But, yeah, we'll wait and see. Wait. Let's be honest, I'm shocked that they've allowed Deadpool to be rated R. Well, that's Fox. That's yeah, true. Yeah and, yeah, and guess what? It did so well that they decided to do another rated R movie with Logan. And it did amazing. And then we had another rated R with Deadpool 2. And it's like, bringing... <laughs> Radar our superhero movies do well. And then w what happens after that? Not not Sony. Mm -mm, no, Sony won't do it. And at the time, there wasn't anything in the in the MCU that warranted a radar. I'll, I'll give you that. But like Sony, you had two you had a second Venom movie after you tested the war with the first one. And more, because mm -hmm. both of them are PG-13. But even if you take those two out of the equation, <coughs> what's the next big one to do it? Not even Marvel! 
but Joker. Yeah. And it won an Oscar, I believe. At least one. But, like, the point is, it's like, you have tested, the, we have seen superhero movies can do well as rated R. Why would you not want to cash in on that as much? And the Ven the Venom one still bugs me. It still bugs me. Because this is, from what I understand, when Venom 1 first came out. This was the literal back and forth. That the person in charge at Sony said they wanted it to be PG-13. In case Disney was open to having uh, that Venom cross over with any, uh, any MCU stuff. Of course, this was all right before, uh... Infinity War, so, you know, stuff happened that's like, hmm, maybe, uh, maybe this won't go what you're thinking, but even so, Disney was like, at this time we have no current inclination or wanting to have Tom Hardy's Venom crossing over. You don't have to worry mm -hmm. about that on our end. Ah, just in case. It's like... They're basically telling you to go full rated R. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. And you talked about the Joker. Yeah, they won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eleven. Oh my god, I didn't, I, I didn't know they won that many. Uh, best actor, best original score, best director, best picture, best costume design, sound mixing, adapted screenplay, cinematography, makeup and hairstyling, film editing, and sound editing. Well, all right then. Yep. They fucking ran away with a bunch of shit. <laughs> Just like Joaquin Phoenix ran away with the show. Yep. Johnny, I don't know how you've seen Joker 26 times. It's a good movie. I've seen it a couple times. Like, mm -hmm. single digits since it's come out. But it's it's also a tough movie to watch all the way through. I don't know if I'd sit... I don't know if I could sit through the whole thing 26 times. I have seen that. I've seen a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, well, I'll be honest. I... Okay. Well, to be fair, I've never seen Venom. I was gonna say, to be fair, there's so many quote-unquote classics that I've never seen. So. Johnny, we're all crazy. Some of us are just better at it than others. It's like a really, really crudely drawn one, <laughs> where it's uh, it's Harley and Batman, and Harley's holding up a cake, and uh, she's like, 
You want some cakes, Pat? <laughs> some cake, Batman? It's pudding flavored. And then, like, Joker's face just kind of pops out of the cake slightly. Sup, Bats? Yeah. <laughs> 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 to see if I can find uh. it. As a cucumber, I think it's new for me ever. <laughs> huh. What's with the hump? I disagree. Tell Maybe you what not. I'm working on, but it's not that fun. <laughs> no, no, still, but you saying you're you're, you're bad you're, you're as boring as a cucumber. No, you're not. Yeah, I don't like you. Neither do cats. Hmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's, I don't know. Is that why flesh is in here? There's a cucumber in the channel somewhere? That's right. I surrounded the channel with cucumbers. I shall never get in here. Oh dear. Pickle Rick! I apologize if I have a slow to respond right now. I've got like the, the burp that's just stuck in the chest. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, Blush! Also, Johnny, please no, not Pickle Rick. Prime example of joke that was super sudden and then got super dumb super fast. Question, Fox. I'm working on my resume. Nothing wrong with that. Awesome, Badoofian Canadian. Badoofian. Seeks employment. Yes. Badoofian. I didn't hear the in-between part. What'd you say? Said awesome Padoofian Canadian. Look, seeking. And I was like, huh. Hmm. Oh, seeking employment. <laughs> Are you making it sound like a dating profile? No. <laughs> awesome Badoofian Canadian seeking long-term committed relationship with work. <laughs> <laughs> Long-term relationship with money, because <laughs> money. I guess that's P for just like everybody else. Is it important? Did you apply to only shrooms? <laughs> no, they won't accept me. Oh. Like legit, they won't. <laughs> that hard to believe. Is it because you're Canadian? Bastards. Probably, probably. Bitches. 
Oh, nicht schon sehe ich. <lacht> Only Shrooms dot e -H. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Millie. That's just... Honestly, it's wrong for doing that, but... If you can keep it up, then good on him. Well, you don't copy people's work, that's what gets you in trouble. Thank you. Thank you. I've been sneezing all day. Patreon exclusive Discord chat. Wait a minute. What's that right? Huh. What's well, not box? I was just looking at our characters, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like something seems off. And then it, and then it hit me. Chris is the tallest person here. <laughs> Poof ball hit. Wait. It, it's, my, it's, my, it's my toque. It makes me taller. No, no, no. Look at your position at the, the feet. Your feet and our feet. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> I think I'm just bigger. Which means you're taller. No, I think I think, yeah, but I, I see. I think I see what Chris means. I'm just, just working on my, you know, old Canadian stereotype. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm not the shortest of the group. Molly. Arr. Roar. <laughs> hey, DJ. Hi, DJ.
Why are you laughing at me? Nothing. <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> I'm just watching both the movie around. Oh, you're moving me around now? <laughs> I think I've corrected the size. Yeah, I think so. I'm just trying to make a joke that she was taller than us. <laughs> One second. Mm -hmm. okay. Say it again. It's it's one of those days you just ask us questions or or what have you. We will do our best to answer if we can. Natural color eyes would you have if you could choose? Molly would choose purple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What would you guys choose? yellow. Mm. I want Sith eyes. <laughs> oh god. This 
orange would be neat. What shade of orange, though? Hmm. Light orange? Hmm. Yeah, I won't blood red eyes. Like really, really, really nice dark blue. Mm. But you can tell that they're dark blue and they're not black. <laughs> I was trying to find this dang thing and I couldn't cross other things, so here's another thing I'm putting in the extra shit. You know what, actually, yeah, even if I had my, like, my OC's eyes, that'd be kind of neat, too. Hmm. I mean, no temptation can stray me from the path of God. I cannot follow, there is just a sick girl outside with no shoes on. <laughs> what? Look oh. in the stream chat. <laughs> That song would never make it to Disney in this day and age. I mean, we'll find out when the live action comes out. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. I just threw yeah, that's up. right there. Looking. Just threw up a little bit right there. <sighs> I know you. I know you're saying that because it's a, it's a big movie for you and and you don't want it ruined. I get it. Hear me out. If I'm not gonna say this is what they're gonna do. I'm not even necessarily hopeful this is what they'll do. Because I know that's a, a pity's errand. It's just speaking out a literal possibility of something that could happen. There is a possibility that it could work if they make it based off of the stage show that came out a few years ago, which was loosely based off of the animated stuff, but tied closer <coughs> to the darker feel of the original book. Okay. I might be able to look at that. See, this is weirdly related to what we were talking about earlier. I'll put it in the stream chat as well. That's true. I mean, it's, not, it's me right now. <laughs> Don't have to be a prisoner to do that. If <coughs> uh. anyone wants to know what the hell they're talking about, you should, uh, you should stretch first. Mm. And then, you should consider joining our Patreon. Oh. Starting at a dollar a month, and you can join our Patreon exclusive Discord. Uh, it's pretty awesome. That's what I got for stretching. Are you okay, Fox? Uh, I think I lost feeling in one of my arms, but I'm good. Oh, good Lord. I'm alright! Funk. <laughs> all better now! That was a good bone pop or bad box. <laughs> this is just... Yes. Wait, so y'all actually heard that? I... No, we just heard you moan and groan. Yeah. Oh. Jared, you can't come in here. No. Dad. <laughs> Thanks for cleaning your room, Emily, unlike uh, certain other children of mine who will remain nameless. Son, eyes welling up. 
Please give me a name. I'm 17. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, they apparently they are your pop the fox. <laughs> On the chat, they're saying they all heard it. Stretch, pop up. <laughs> Getting old, Gumbella. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, there's a me I wanted to share. Gotta find it. I just heard a mud and groan. <laughs> so. Don't worry, oh. folks, one day you'll be like me. Fox. Why did I just picture you? Specific because of what you just said, why do you have a picture of your, your face on top of Abe Simpson? Oh, jeez. Specifically in that one time where Homer was having the flashback. And um, Homer and his friend are like talking about his dad doesn't understand or anything like that. And he was like, I understand. This all happened before. And it'll happen again. It'll happen to you. It'll happen to you! You'll lose your arm in the war! <laughs> <laughs> Still remember the feel of that arm? It's touch. That's gone! Oh, gone! Ah! So, found another one here. It's um a an English paper. This person got a D on it. Hmm. And I'm surprised they even got a D. Hmm. Oh. They titled their page. What exactly does Tom want with Jerry? They go on with it. <laughs> In the Looney Tunes cinematic universe, many of the cartoon nemeses have a very clear goal. Wiley e. Coyote wants to eat the Roadrunner. Pepe Le Pew wants to impregnate Penelope. <laughs> Elmer Fudd wants to shoot bugs. And who doesn't? But it's unclear what, if anything, Tom wants to do with Jerry. Submitted for the approval of English 101. <laughs> I propose that Tom actually has no interest in doing anything with Jerry, but instead fulfilling his class role as the house cat. <laughs> Heathcliff, Top Cat, Garfield, Sylvester. These are all famous cats. Most of them are cartoon. <laughs> and it kind of just cuts off there, but like all these markings here now. First off, they, they said Wild Coyote. It's Wily Coyote. Mm-hmm. They spelled Pepe Le Pew as P-U-E, but it's P-E-W. Mm -hmm. uh, the teacher is questioning not only Pepe Le Pew's apparent drive for what he's doing, but also the fact that they're calling it the Looney Tunes Cinematic Universe. Yeah, is, is it Tom and Jerry MGM? Tom and Jerry is, yeah, exactly, yes. Um, let's see, um, when they said <laughs> Fudd wants to shoot bugs and who doesn't, they just underlined and wrote, no. Mm -hmm. It's unclear what, if anything, see. Tom wants to do with Jerry. Is it? And then, <laughs> submitted for the approval of English 101, not the Midnight Society. <laughs> <laughs> but the best part here is... 
written at the top completely in red ink. This was supposed to be about Tom from The Great Gatsby, the book we're reading. Oh. <laughs> So that's where I'm like, how also, did, how'd you even get a D? See, well, as a teacher, I also would have been kind of a smart ass. It's like, who wouldn't want to shoot bugs? Well, it's duck season. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, that, that, that's the, they questioned that too, Mally. That's what I was saying about the um, Pippi Le Pew's drive, so to speak. reason why he wasn't in uh, the new Space Jam. Oh dear god, I forgot I saved this. Uh, in the prologue of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Goombella can be very precisely nudged into Professor Frankly, so their models occupy the same coordinates. Due to the layering of their respective textures, this results in Goombella appearing to wear Frankly's glasses. <laughs> and also kind of had his eyebrows. Oh my god. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that oh. is neat. Oh. My gosh. Uh. <sighs> <laughs> hey there, Delilah. What's it like in Houston, Texas? I'm 600 miles away, and yet I'm somehow still in Texas. Of course, there's the, the trio Venn diagram of evildoers. Oops. Doofenshmirtz and... Groot. <laughs> oh, well, why is it worse? So I love this. I'm about to send another one. It's a, uh, for it's from an old magazine. It looks like. Mhm. Mm and they have a coupon here for uh, for whipped cream. And attached with it, there's a picture too. But it says our okay. favorite recipe. One shortcake. One raspberry, one strawberry, one blueberry, one cherry, and 15 cans of ready whipped real whipped cream. Mm hmm. Here's what that looks like, apparently. Oh. just I mean that's how much whipped cream I put on my pumpkin pie <laughs> <coughs> but 
I'm guessing the pumpkin pie is not nearly as small as that tiny shortcake. <laughs> no, it's normal size. Hmm. There we go. Uh, cowboys are witches, and horses are their familiars. Hmm. Guns are their wands, and they only want they only know one spell: bullet. Someone mm -hmm. made a little a little a uh, little spell there. <laughs> Rootin', tootin', toilin', shootin', fire burnin', and cowboy bootin'. I have newtin' spicy beans, toe a frog and denim jeans. Whiskey, grits, and demon spittle, tossed into my iron riddle. With the tannin of our hide, something wicked this way rides. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we need Striker to say that. <laughs> there was someone. This looked so, so off. Someone made an edit of Striker where he didn't have his mustache anymore. And it looked mm -hmm. so weird. And it's like his mustache is, isn't even that. Prominent, like it's not that big of a mustache or anything, but it just looked weird. Why do I kind of want to see it? <laughs> it was on Twitter. Let's see if I can find it for you. Is there's no such thing as too much whipped cream. Exactly. Squirt the whole can in my mouth. Whole can of squirty cream. The only thing I will not squeeze in my mouth is cheese. You don't want the cream to dilute the flavor. Since I first watched a cooking movie, I wanted to try squirty cheese. 
Oh. Uh. What a thing to come back to. Oh, Cheddar! Cheddar Wizzy! Ow, ow, ow. Ow! It's the Tower of Cheesa. Jenny, I'm sorry. I didn't mean uh, that was probably a lot louder than anyone was expecting from me today. I know I'm going to gross people out. Cheese whiz and chocolate chip cookies. Okay, when you guys talk about cheese whiz, do you mean like the spreadable like Velveeta stuff or like the squeezy, cheesy thing? Cheese from a can. Okay. Like an aerosol. I was gonna say that the v the Velveeta stuff might have been better with the chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> well, I'm not sure which one Johnny's talking about because. Because the thing is, the cheese whiz that Fox is talking about isn't called cheese whiz, like, actually. No. Nah. That's just kind of what... Oh. It's kind of like how people will call it soda or pop. Ah, uh, okay. Some people just call spray chiz, uh, cheese cheese whiz. Cheese. <laughs> hey, I was going to say chiz. Ch. <laughs> the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But um but yeah, spray cheese, cheese whiz. Some people kinda of see it as kinda of like a interchangeable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and I partially blame that on a goofy movie. Because he calls it Cheddar Wizzy. Uh -uh. The treasure room in that film by telling me that the film starts with Max was having a type of dream. I mean, yeah, you could argue that. Yeah. Hey, did you know this movie has a title screen? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I'm just trying to be a smart ass. I guess it didn't work. I just, I just didn't get it. With spoilers, it. and it's like, hey, did you know that ins insert movie here has a title screen? Oh, yeah. My God! It's ruined a movie for me forever.
these are all my god. I can't <laughs> believe it. Take your time. Excuse me. Got me more than the thought of it. <laughs> okay. I. Okay, I, I know I'm weird, but I don't like thin bread. Thin bread? Thin. Like. Thin. Like, 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 like Wonder Bread. You know what I mean? I like the thick stuff. Okay. The Italian loaf. Oh. Hmm. I get French bread every now and then. Oh, I love French bread. You bigot. Well, Johnny, if you can't think of a good one, think of a bad one. Yeah, use one of your bad questions. What? You have a question, Fox. Hmm? Huh? You have a question. Why don't I have a question? Mm hmm I don't know. Why don't you have a question? I have lots, but most of them are not uh, appropriate for the Switch. Oh, really? So. Fox, I can't even think of bad ones. Uh, okay, then use one of your mediocre ones. <laughs> oh, good boy. Uh, Miss Molly. Hmm. Right? Game chat. 
That's so cute. Fruit. Yeah. Hey, is that a real frog? In the second one, yes. Damn. Hmm. I have a question. Okay. That's appropriate. <laughs> um, does anybody have any plans for November? Hopefully getting better, obviously, but <laughs> um, next Friday, Papa and I are going to go see Randy Feltface live in New Orleans. Yay! Ew. Nice. And it'll be quite fun. Someplace tomorrow. Might be someplace Saturday. Yeah. I have no clue if I'm going to have Thanksgiving or anything like that, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> hmm. That's a bit biased. You guys are too much. It is better. African or Canadian? Well, I have, as far as I know, I haven't really had any Canadian food except, uh, except, like, real maple syrup. Mm hmm. I mean, I, I, guess, I guess the snacks. Some, some snacks, if you want to consider that. You know, are, are you talking about. In general, or, or more like, mm, I prefer a burger over poutine or something like that, you know? Like, how specific are you getting, John? Hmm. Because I've never I'm had, like, sure. food food from Canada. Hmm. Poutine's good. I think our Canadian bacon's better, though. You don't have fucking Canadian bacon. <laughs> you have ham. <laughs> you take that bullshit back. I mean, to be fair... To be fair... I feel like it's okay for us to call it Canadian bacon. Hear me out. <laughs> I saw the look. <laughs> I just saw it in my mind. Like, hey, what? Because okay. a Canadian fellow created Hawaiian pizza. In Manitoba, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Hawaiian. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's literally not. It's Canadian. <laughs> Apple pie is Canadian too. I don't think anyone's anyone's trying to argue on that one. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> I mean, apple pie is apple pie. It don't matter. It's apple pie. The point is, it doesn't have a nationality in the name. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Like a French fry. Oh, I'm kind of curious now. We're gonna have a little history <laughs> lesson. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Why is it called Canadian bacon? Oh, gosh. So we go. The history of Canadian bacon. Oh, I, lo I love this. What is Canadian bacon? Canadian bacon is a misnomer. The only place they call it that is in the United States. Just as they don't call Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia um, or buffalo the wings in Buffalo. It's just a cheesesteak and a buffalo. Or, mm -hmm. or cheesesteak and wings. So, okay. 
<coughs> Excuse me. So why is it called Canadian bacon? Canadian bacon probably got that name because in the mid 1800s there was a shortage of pork in the United Kingdom and they imported the meat from Canada. They would cure the back meat of the sp- uh, in a special brine which the Canadians called pea meal bacon. Because they would roll it in ground yellow split peas to help preserve it. The English smoked it instead, and this new concoction was just referred to, probably, as Canadian bacon. The Americans liked it and brought it back to the States. So, there you go. Hmm. Hmm. And they have it on here. So if you went to Canada and asked for Canadian bacon, what would you get? If you were in Toronto and asked for Canadian bacon, they would probably get something called pea meal bacon. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This bacon is from the loin of the pig, as opposed to most bacon, which is from the belly, especially mm-hmm. in the United States. The loin is the part that they make pork chops out of, so they just remove the bones. Mm-hmm. Okay, there you go. So our pork chop, our boneless pork chops are is technically their Canadian bacon. No, because it's done slightly differently. Did, did you miss the part about the yeah. the pea meal? No, I did hear. But you're talking about the back the back strap, the loin. Like as far as where they get it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So as if we took the if we took a boneless pork chop and did and did the pea thing, it would be their version of. Or bacon. I think that's yes, kind of you can cure it. Yeah, you got to cure it. I was gonna say, I think it's kind of an oversimplification, but but there you go. So they called it Canadian bacon because of how it's done, not necessarily because of what it is. Mm-hmm. Well, there we go. See, we all learned something today. That's cool. The more you know. Bum, bum, bum. Now we know, and no one is half the battle. G.I. Jose! <laughs> and does it taste better than normal bacon to me? No. To someone else? Quite possibly. I like bacon. Oh, yummy. I like bacon too. My go to pizza is always pepperoni and bacon. Delicious. You know, I was looking at a couple of different places. How do you have multiple pizza places that have meat lover pizzas that don't have bacon, even though they have bacon as a topping option? Mm -hmm. Are they trying to say that bacon isn't a meat? (laughs) <laughs> it's a vegetable. Oh, oh my god. I just came across this. Um, I'm putting this in our stream chat as well because I'm really curious to see people's take on it. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the bottom for me that, that kills me. Hmm. So help me out. I'm a bit lost here. You're planning on hitting sport mode today. Are you more of a secret agent vibe? <laughs> Oh my gosh.
I swear. Hmm. Just that text. So, like, why? Tough open quest is gonna catch you. Oh God. Why? <laughs> By the way, who wants some cursed pins? Itchy head. Oh, no. Itchy head. Oh, God. <laughs> Master has presented Dobby with clock. Any questions? Oh, so while we're waiting for some more questions, so I'm, I, I wanna. This isn't exactly popcorn worthy, but I do wanna I do wanna s state something real quick that bugs me. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I am a big fan of sour candies. I enjoy sour candies very much so. Oh, hang on. Oh, God, Mally, why? <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I enjoy a good sour candy right now. Mm-hmm. 
one of my favorites that were really, really, really good. Here, let me uh, actually got a picture of them right here. They were freaking good. Were uh, Mike and Ike Zowers. Mmm. Really, really tasty. Mm hmm. And then they got rid of them a few years ago. They were around for like 20 mm. years, I think. Like they were around for a long time. And they just got rid of them. And when when I looked up what happened to Zowers, right? Mike and Ike's says uh, that they they don't use them anymore. They don't make them anymore. But that people who like them should try out the Mike and Ike sour mix. Which is like, okay, that should make sense, right? I mean, it's basically going to be the same thing. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Not only are they not as good, they've also added in, added in new flavors that don't taste as good as the others. So when you get to those, you're like, ah, no, I just power through the bad ones. It's like, man, I miss sours. Mm. It's one of those things where it's like, part of me, part of me looks at various different shiz and it's just like, Oh, hello, Nanako. Hi, Nanako. But, uh, Nanako. There's, part, there's parts of me that are just, like, looking at various things going on that, you know, I used to really enjoy and be like, man, I wish I had, like, the super, super pull that some people have where I could be like, can we, like, even if it's just for a limited time, can we just bring these back? You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and not even just with uh, just with the Zowers. There's a uh, there's quite a few things like that. Like there's um, there's a few things from like childhood, which I know some people are like, oh dude, you're just blinded by nostalgia. It's like yeah, but the thing is, am I? Or was it something really enjoyable, and I just wanted to have it one more time? Because you know, it's it's one of those things. Especially when they don't specify it's a limited time thing. Mm -hmm. You never think the last time you have it is going to be the last time you'll have it. Oh dear, apparently Nanako got herself on the dishes again with a knife. Oh no, honey, I'm sorry. Hope you're okay, hon. Um... I need to buy her some chainmail gloves. <laughs> chainmail gloves. But yeah, um, like for example, I think there was like this cereal from when I was younger. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was a really interesting cereal. It was like a spin-off of like cocoa and fruity pebbles, but it was like a cinnamon-based one. Hmm. And, and it was like cinnamon boulders. And I remember like the I remember the promotion for it was Fred and Barney, because you know they're on the cover of all the freaking boxes, even though I feel like nowadays a lot of younger kids may or may not know who the Flintstones are. Yeah. But because they were boulders, they were like in their excavation <laughs> uniforms from their work. So they had like the hard hats on on the cover of the box and everything. Nice. It might have been like Colossal Crunch or something like Colossal Pebbles or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But it was really, really good. And I would have loved to have that back. Um... Freaking, you know Hot Pockets used to do calzones? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they used to do calzones, and, uh... They were, they were pretty good. Um... They were better if you put them in the oven, because, uh... It, it's, it's weird. A lot of people don't know this, because... You think Hot Pockets, you think, oh, this is... You pop it in the microwave for a minute, and you can just go on your way. 
but they actually i don't think they put this on the box anymore but they actually used to put directions on how to cook hot pockets in the oven and let me tell you any of the pizza ones in the oven so much better than in the microwave mm -hmm. so much and yeah i know i know a lot of stuff i'm naming is like junk food too but Fuck you. <laughs> hmm. You judge me for my fast. If you judge me for my junk food taste, then I say I don't need your opinions, uh, and or madam or any in between or outside of. Pizza pops kind of similar to hot pockets. Pizza pops. Let me let me do a quick little juju search. Yeah, but Pillsbury. I prefer the McCain pizza pockets. Those are really good. Okay. Making school number. They're they're pretty close to the pizza pops that I'm seeing when I look it up. Uh, yeah, because. Here for reference, Chris. So I'll put this in the stream chat as well. Because then we got a couple of people who live out of the states. I'm not sure how far pizza, I mean, how far uh, hot pockets go. There's a pepperoni pizza one right there. Oh, okay. They're kind of similar. <coughs> yeah, but like a little different. And then they're not limited to just pizza either. So we've got like, uh, you know, ham and cheese, uh, Philly cheese steak. Um, sometimes they do like, uh, they have lean pockets as well. So they'll do like cheddar and broccoli with chicken or something like that. They do breakfast ones. So you can do like a ham, egg and cheese in the hot pocket type thing. Johnny says apparently they do still have those instructions on the jumbo box because you can get it uh, for the convenience you can get them in like packs of two but they also have like the bulk ones where it's like here's 15 I mean hey <laughs> can be convenient what I like to do is I'll get the ham and cheese ones with a bag of Andy Caps hot fries uh, mm -hmm. uh, I need and then what so here's what i'll do fox is I'll, I'll bite off the end of the ham and cheese hot pocket and i'll stuff, stuff the hot fries in, in yes. <laughs> yep <laughs> now it does give it a little bit of zing but a little bit of crunch too yep i'm making myself hungry which part of me thinks is a good thing but I'm hungry too now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make everyone hungry. Has anyone had You're a fine. plant burger before? Had what? A plant burger. Like a plant mm -mm. based burger? Yeah, a plant made burger before. Yeah. Like an impossible I whopper almost. Yeah, I have not. I've had a couple Actually, of no, I take that back. Just tasted different to me. I mean, yeah, it's gonna taste, taste like different, a but yeah, it didn't taste like a burger, but it wasn't bad. It's one of those. Excuse me. It's one of those where if I sadly was in a position where I had to give up red meat at least for a little bit, I would be okay with it. Like with that as the substitute, as opposed to just not being able to have any sort of burger type thing. Just. Trying it in barbecue sauce and Tabasco, it'll be fine. 
Ketchup and mayo is all I need. Ketchup is a last resort. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, I, th I think I see a question from the back. Someone's asking, uh, when are we getting some uh, Fizzerazzi comics? I don't know who said that blush, but that's a good question. Um, so, uh, believe it or not, actually, there's an artist mm -hmm. that I've been seeing recently that I've been liking their stuff. And some of their stuff is Fizz and Ozzy. So I am thinking about asking them for permission for us to be able to do their stuff. One of the ones they are doing, actually, just because this would be really fun as well, is um, they did a little short bit of Fizz and Blitz getting blasted off their ass singing the Clown Bitch song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, that, them singing that as a duet would be kind of fun. So, but, uh, yeah, you know, that's a good reminder though, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, um, that, you know, we accept requests for people if they have comics that they want us to do, um, they're just subject to approval. You know, uh, we've got, uh, we've got links that you can send them to and we are, we're almost always happy to look into them if nothing else. Uh, it just depends on the comics subject matter or whatever depending on that looking into it before we get into it because there are a few that see some people have suggested that some of our crew that would be the ones involved in said comics did not feel comfortable dubbing so therefore we do not do those um but yeah so if uh if anyone sees any good Fizzerazzi comics and want to send them to me so that I may then get permission. We can look into it. As long as Fox isn't getting cold feet about it. <laughs> no. Okay, make it sure. So I'm taking a look at the outfits for Fizz and Blitz were hot. But the singing was horrible. Oh, they saw that comic on TikTok. Now, question, was it horrible as in, like, the person just, quote-unquote, couldn't sing? Or horrible as in they're supposed to be <coughs> drunk, so they sounded like bad drunk singers? Because to me, that's a big difference. You're a clown, bitch. What? I mean, oh yeah, Mally Baby, I can do it. I know I can. I just gotta be with my little fizzy frog. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I have this weird feeling if I try to start doing fizz, I'm just going to burp. Yeah, really I mean, I, no, I didn't I didn't want you to hurt yourself, Ed, so. No, it wasn't pain, it's like I could feel like kind of the build up as, again, I'm just like, why do I feel like I'm going to be like, Hey, if it... <laughs> Come on. Burp and put it on the Richter scale. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good boy for not saying fizzy pop, says Blush. You know, I still say he would have more than one little, little nickname, huh? I. No, no, we we don't we don't disagree with it, but until it is officially said, that yeah, is yeah, Velvet's yeah, nickname yeah. for Roboface. That reminds me, I want to send you a pigment. Oh, good lord! I just saw my <laughs> <Ugh>. sent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. Good fucking lord.
You know what? This is just for this is just for fun. <laughs> Fizzy pop. Apparently triggered Nanaka. <laughs> uh, you know what, Fox? Yeah. Uh, There's just one thing left to say. Then. Buy our merch. What? No. <laughs> God <laughs> bless. You thought my segues are bad. That was bad. I wasn't even trying. That was bad. <laughs> but yeah, what man? I was gonna. I was just saying. There was just one thing left to say. Fuck you. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's been my fucking, like, anthem since the episode came out. Not towards you specifically, Fox, I'm gonna specify that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There is one thing left to say, fuck you. But damn it, it's not as fucky yet. I'm the green smelling roses. Hey, goodbye. Oh, I look you in the eye and say, Do. Oh, not a coin. <laughs> what was that? No, Nanako DM'd us the uh, the tick tick tock, oh. and uh, <laughs> I have that one saved. Mm. <laughs> Nanako wants the fizz Daki Makara. <laughs> His body pillow. Oh, just wait, Nanako. Just wait. We, we, we go over all the various merches that he has. Had, I guess. She, she wants to buy the doll. been sitting here watching the stream wondering why it was dead silent for like 10 minutes only just realized the twitch itself was muted oh, oh honey i'm sorry this is why our vods go up on youtube which i apologize i know i've been a bit behind on uploading those everyone so they'll be up soon we'll be catching up And Nanako, I said you wanted to buy the doll. And Dash wants the therapist fizzy for $70. And the carrier bags fizzy. Yeah. 
Well, we're not going to be going for too much longer, so if anyone has any other questions, now's the time to get them in. Questions? Questions? Hi, Drake. <laughs> I don't have anything to drink. <gasps> Would you like to drink from mine then, darling? <laughs> Just please. Where's my dog? Just mama bird style it to you. Let me just. I love that Dash just says, drink your fluids. Your talk. No, I don't drink talks. <laughs> mm. I know. I know you want to leave. But you're in my arms now. You want to leave me, but I refuse <laughs> to let you go. And I can beg and plead for your sympathy. I don't mind, cause you mean that much to me. Ain't too proud to beg. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I think people really enjoyed my mama birding. <laughs> I simply must do it again sometime. <laughs> it reminds me of what? the movie Happy Feet when um Oh gosh, I can't remember his name. Um Mumble? Mumble, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. But Mumble sees his mom for the first time, and she's like, I have a treat for you, and just pukes into his yeah. mouth. <laughs> it's such a cute movie. Apparently, Jenny is seeing a black screen. Is that the same for everyone else, or is that just, uh, is that just Jenny? Let me check. <coughs> um, I'm not going to refresh, so. Yeah, we're still running to me. Okay. Yeah, no, no black screen for me. All right, then. Yes, refresh the page, Jenny. Yeah, we did just have an ad break, so maybe that was like screwing with her stuff. I would like to sit down again. So you have to move. Yeah. This has been a long couple of days. It's why they haven't been on to streams, or at least why they haven't been chatting on streams. How's everyone? Uh, getting over a sickness. But other than that, I'm okay, I guess. I'm okay. Doing all right. Oh, okay, the one that's like a baseball cap. Okay. That's the one that Mally was talking about when they said they wanted a hat. Mm hmm. <laughs> right above that is. Uh, Mally says, Dox's segue attempts. <laughs> what? When you went to the merch. Ah. Uh... Later, Dash. Bye, Dash. Later, Dash. Mm.
No, it wasn't redeemed, but I stretched, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I know this is going to sound somewhat embarrassing, so I don't mind. But at the same time, I don't mind sharing it just because I feel like it would give people a little bit of a laugh. So, um, y'all know I haven't been feeling too hot the past few days. Uh, so a way that I've been, way I've been trying to, uh, you know, help regulate my temperature, etc., is uh, taking baths of various temperatures, whether it needs a hot bath to warm up or a cool bath to cool down, etc. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Apparently. There has been a downside to all these little bath time soakings. And it may not be what you think it is. What is it? Um, if there's not a decent amount of padding on places, my butt hurts. <laughs> Oh, honey. <laughs> Apparently, I've been sitting in the hard tub too much the past week. So, like, I think my butt's bruised or something. <laughs> also, high oh. blush. High blush. Your butt's bruised? I think my butt's bruised from all the baths I've been taking while I was trying to regulate my body temperature. Because now whenever mm-hmm. I'm, like, on a hard surface that's not cushioned, my butt hurts. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, here, let me, uh, allow me to get you your drink. There you go. Thank you. Yes, well. Um, I'm curious. I I know I kind of went on a tangent, but, uh, especially now that Blush is here, this would be a good one for all three of y'all. Are there any, um, like, snacks or drinks or whatever from y'all's past that y'all really enjoyed that got just unexpectedly uh, canceled that y'all wish y'all could bring back at least one more time. Oh, jeez. Candy cigarettes with the chocolate ones. Oh, those were fun. I've never had a chocolate That legit... One. Yeah, I used to have chocolate ones and they were like an edible paper and it was like one of the best memories I have of my dad when I was younger. Oh. He'd go and get a pack of um, Bucky and then I'd get <laughs> the candy cigarettes and we'd sit on the wall outside the news agents and he'd be smoking and I'd be pretending to smoke and then eating the chocolate. Yep. Aww. And how about you, Carissa? Um. It's really hard to think of just because there's a lot of uh, retro stores around me that sell like old timey okay. candy from my childhood. So I still have access to it. It's just really expensive. Mm. Um but I love I used to love eating a uh, bun dip and um like uh it's a, it's a squeezable like gel thing. Oh ooze oh, tubes. Yeah, uh, the ooze tubes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the green apple one's my favorite. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Fox, anything from your end? Uh, cigarettes are one of them. Uh, Drink-wise, I know they brought it back, but Surge, it's never been the same since they oh. redid it. Yeah, but now it's even, it, at least around me, it's still hard to find nowadays. Yeah. I have a drink, too. Ooh, go ahead. Chubbies. Excuse me? Have y'all ever heard of Chubbies? No. Mm-mm. Okay, wait. G- give me- yeah, yeah, find a picture because I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, let me see here. While Chris is looking uh... that up, soda wise, mine would be Pitch Black from Mountain Dew. Specifically, Pitch uh... Black 2. Because they came out with Mountain Dew Pitch Black in like the early thousands, like, like in 2000, I think. And it was supposed yeah. to be like, Mountain Dew with a with a dark twist or something like that, and it was supposed to be grape, and it tasted pretty good. But then in two thousand five, yes, had... sorry, you're good. In two thousand five, they had released P- 
Pitch Black 2. It was supposed to be a sequel, I guess. But this one is like it came back with a vengeance because um, it had freaking sour grape flavor. Mm-hmm. Huh. And they released it for Halloween. And it was really, 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 really good. And then they never released it. They re-released Pitch Black multiple times now. And the last time they released it, I was so mad at them. You want to know why? Mm. It was part of their Back by Popular Do Manned survey, right? Mm. Where they put two together and they had them in stores for a while. And then there would be a vote online. You'd go online to vote. And the winner would stay as the permanent return. Okay. It went up against Baja Blast. Oh. And Baja lost. Oh. Yeah, Pitch Black actually won. And then a few months later, they just stopped selling Pitch Black again. Hmm. Oh, but that's okay because every summer, here's Baja Blast again with some new summer flavors, but you still get the original. So it's basically like, even though we didn't win, we're still going to act like it won. And it's like, what the fuck? Then why have it be a contest? The people yeah. have spoken. They want it back. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's one. Huh. BBs. They discontinued BBs. I've seen things like these. I'm not sure if I've ever had these. The chubbies. The, the chubbies? Yeah. I still can get them. Yeah, I can too, but they're really hard. They're only around like maybe a couple times a year. Mm. I only ever find the strawberry one though. But the red one. Mm. I only ever find that one. It's weird. There's one, um, I think... there's a local soda. That uh, if y'all are ever in, in town, I would love to be able to get y'all to, uh, to try if y'all want. Uh, called Big Shots. Mm-hmm. They're really, really good, and I, I think y'all would love the design of the guy who's who's on the bottle. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Because he kind of looks like the old like like an old timey you know Big Shot dude. With like a little bowler Tiffa. hat and a cigar, he, he kind of looks like he'd be the one like, yeah, eh? see, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you through the ringer, kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't say shit. What? Nothing. <laughs> didn't hear, so I'm not gonna repeat it. Someone go clip it. No. So here, here comes uh, uh, here comes the red cream soda. Just the guy looks the same on all of them, but really, they discontinued push-ups. There you go. Holy oh. shit! You see what I mean by his design? Like I love it. I like that. And that design has stayed the same ever since the sh- ever since it originally came out. But one of the things I like about them, it's one of the few sodas that have, not only do they have one, but it's a good one, a black cherry flavor. Hmm. It's hard to find that in the sodas. That tastes good. Okay, that doesn't bother me at all, but that went away. Heinz Easy Squirt Purple Ketchup. (laughs) Did you just look up a list of discontinued snacks or something? Yes, I have. Wait, purple ketchup? Yeah. We get that still. Yeah. Mostly around Halloween, though. That and the sense. green ketchup around Halloween. Berry we... Cola Fusion Pepsi. Yeah, we used to get the green... Uh, I remember the green ketchup first came out here to, uh, to promote Shrek. <laughs> oh, what was it? There were these little, like, little... They were, like, little frozen dots. Dippin' dots. No, 
No, it was a certain one. It was like, I think it was like Calypso something. Hmm. And, oh my god, they don't do them anymore. They stopped doing them. Uh, but that was a big thing from my childhood. I used to have those all the damn time. I know something I missed too. Wonder Balls. What? What's in a Wonder Ball? Wonder Ball. Yep. Never heard of it. What is it? It's a chocolate ball that would be filled with little candies and oftentimes a prize. Yep. Okay. The problem is that... Because were... yep. Yeah, go ahead, Fox. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the problem is they were, they were the toys were considered a choking hazard for children. Because apparently these parents were just handing their kids these things and didn't realize that there was smaller candies within the giant chocolate ball and little prizes a toy. so the kid would just go full mouth the like full on chocolate ball in the mouth at one time and so they they brought them back but they've removed toys so now it's just the fruit candies inside the ball yeah meh but it's the thing is they called them wonder balls because you never knew what you were gonna get they would often be little themes so sometimes it'd be like uh, it would be like a Toy Story version or a Lion King version or something like that. And you can get little tiny figures or you can get stickers mm-hmm. or something like that. And you never knew what was in there. So it's, gotta wonder, gotta wonder, what's in a Wonder Ball? Yeah, the one, the one they have here is a Disney one. So yeah. you could get like Hades or Meg or stuff like that. Yeah. Fruity Hades. <laughs> Fruity Hades. <laughs> Hades is gonna get you. <clears throat> oh no, I'm gonna pop again. Hey. Oh. Mystery flavored jawbreakers. <laughs> I like fireballs. What's a push pop? Um, it's kind of like a, um, like a sherbet slash sorbet type yeah. thing, but it comes in a sleeve and you would literally push it up through. Okay, it's not like uh, like the candy push pops that you stick your finger in and like it comes out of heart candy that you get to suck on. Oh wait, yeah, push pops. I was thinking of push. I was thinking of push ups. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, push pops. Yeah, no, that's what you're thinking of. It's yeah, the the lollipop that you literally just push it through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, put, I miss put push ups. See if I can find uh, orange sherbet of the was the best. When I think of sherbet, I think of pixie stick. Uh... <laughs> Funny thing about pixie, they're uh. Here at the during summer camp, we're not allowed to sell straws for some reason, and we would ha- and we sell we do sell slushies and we have these huge cu- like the huge styrofoam cups to get them in. So you couldn't get a straw, but you could buy a pixie stick, the jumbo pixie sticks. <laughs> a lot of a lot of the scouts would just go ahead and pour the pixie stick mix on top and then cut the ends off and use it as a straw. So I just put a picture of uh of the push up pops. In the, uh, mm-hmm. I think you can kind of see them faintly on the box, but there's like that little almost plasticky stick at the bottom, and you would literally just push it up through the wrapper as you eat it. And they would be yeah. themed. I mean, you, again, you had like Flintstones or Scooby Doo or whatever. Yeah. There is one that I used to have, and I do not, rem- I have not been able to find what the hell it's called. Can you describe it? But it was an it was an ice lolly, right? Like like those kind of. Mm. But it had gummies in them. Oh. Like it had actual gummies. And I have never been able to find it again. <laughs> like I used to have them all the damn time, but my mom can't remember what they're called. No one can remember what they're called. And I've never seen them again. I look every time I go into the supermarket. <laughs> Still to this day, I still look every time.
Of course, it's probably, it's probably not going to help with me looking in the, looking them up because it's probably going to just pull up a lot of the U.S. stuff. Mm. But yeah. Um. You know what else was really good? Hang on. Is they had um. Is partnered up with a. Uh, with Nestle, and it was actually really really good. Um. There were these little things called dibs. Hmm. And basically, what they would be is, basically, like little tiny nuggets, of ice cream that were wrapped in Nestle Crunch. Let's take a look. <gasps> Dibs. Yeah. I remember those. Apparently, you can still find them like very, very, very rarely, but like, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. N another, another little mini thing. I wouldn't call it a rant. It's more of just kind of like a, yo, what the fuck moment. And Johnny, I do not remember Crystal Pepsi. That was before my time. I remember mm -hmm. it. Never heard of it. It did not sell well. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is it this plush? No, it's not, because that has the gummies in the actual stick itself. These were literally mixed in with the ice lolly. Yeah, I was trying to look through and find a couple of different ones. Uh, I found like an old, like apparently Timon and Pumbaa had something similar to that, but I feel like that wouldn't be specifically what you're looking for. As for reference, uh. This is the one that I found. Okay, very similar. Like, that's the kind of thing, like, gummies in the ice lolly itself. But, right. yeah. So weird. Oh, I kept thinking they were round trees. Oh, guess what I tried for the first time? Was it? Mochi ice cream. Ooh, how was that? Mm-hmm. It was actually, it was alright. Like, it was my local store's own version of it. Mm. And it was not as bad as I thought it would be. Very good mochi texture. Nice. Ah, oh, jeez, turtle pies. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <clears throat> My hostess. A vanilla pudding. Uh, I, I know you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but the little little chocolate pies and everything, or cherry pies that they make in the little, like, containers. Yes. I mean, what, they're about six inches by... Three, in the packaging. You got one little a little pie cake in it. It's like it's pretty much the top part of a pie that's been folded in half around filling. Mm. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> <clears throat> yep. You used to have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. They were green with cream filling inside. <laughs> Those were the best. Uh, Trying to say, oh damn, those pies take me back, Fox. Uh huh. Strengthening.
right. Well, Dunkaroos. Anyone else have any last minute questions before we sign off? Uh. I want to be. <laughs> Gee, vocal. That is an awfully nice pillow sitting by blush. Where... You're so bad at this. I... <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Give me a second. I, need... I agree. He's worse. I need to grab. Uh, I need to grab fat nuggets. <laughs> no, you need to grab the moist towelettes. Well, I was I was gonna say because he's clearly hamming it up. <laughs> we got a snicker. <laughs> we win. <laughs> uh. I may have found what it was. Oh, did you? Nice. I think it was the Jelly Babies. I saw uh, it. Jelly Babies. Because the whole like ice cream itself would wiggle as well. And they were called um, Wobbly Lollies. Wobbly lolly. Let's see, you know, I, I got something at the store today, Blush, that made me think of you. Mm-hmm. It's called a sparkling blush. Mm-hmm. So it made me think of you. What is it? Oh, yes, right. Um, It's a beverage. <laughs> What kind of beverage? <laughs> um, it's like a sparkling cider, but it's um, it's apple and cherry. Okay. But it, again, it's just because the name is like <gasps> sparkling blush. Oh my god! Yeah. Did you find him? So, so no, no, no. So you know, Silent Hill was getting the remake, right? Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. They're gonna remake more of them. It's been announced. Does that mean we're going to uh, be playing the remakes of three as well? Possibly. Maybe. Depends on which ones they do. But, but the, oh, they're, God, they're doing it in the Unreal Engine. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> You're, good. You're good. I have not. I have not. Oh, my God. That engine is a bitch to use. As much as I doubt it, part of me would love it if they were like, hey, you know... You're showing this is still a viable market. Something Where's PT? From, I was about to say, there's something from a few years back that Where's people PT? are still trying to replicate. Very Silent easy Hills. marketing choice. Silent Hills. We need it. Now, I know part of it is also, it. is Kojima going to be okay? Like, does Kojima want to return? Well, he's come back to it. Oh, has he? I think okay. he's come. I think so. I think he is part of it again. I'm not 100% sure, but I... I had the inkling that he was because he's being more involved in the new, um, the remake at least. I know that. Well, look, we know now, right? If uh, if Norman Reedus can't make it, just get Ed Bosco. <laughs> <coughs> uh, oh, Pog Molly. Pog collection. Pog. Pog collection. Have you guys seen the uh, the Chuck E. Cheese Twitch account? No. There's an actual official you. Chuck E. Cheese Twitch. <laughs> and it's like a little hand puppet. Oh my god. <laughs> and he says poggers. Okay, thinking, saying of Pog, I remember them. I remember these things that my nephew was obsessed with. And we would 
we would have to buy mountains of these freaking blind bags to get them all. Otherwise, he'd be mad. <laughs> they were called Moshi Monsters. Moshi and Monsters. My God. My favorite one was Diablo because it literally is like a volcano little dude. Mm-hmm. And he's like a devil, a devil volcano dude. But my nephew was obsessed to the point we've probably spent hundreds upon hundreds on these things. And I bet you they all went to a landfill because my nephew and my sister. <laughs> there were so many. So many glow in the dark ones. The glow in the dark ones were great. Uh, he used to give them to me to take to university. Yeah, to like keep me safe at uni. So, yeah. I made the uh, the giant ragdoll that I made around the house. So he's probably like, okay, I'm gonna send these with her to make sure she doesn't come back and put that damn ragdoll in my room when I'm asleep. <laughs> he saw it the other day and he shuddered. <laughs> I have scarred that child. <laughs> Worth it. Nice. He's not scared of them anymore. <laughs> he was he was scared of dolls before I started doing it. <laughs> They've got plushies and there's a plushie of Diablo. Oh my god. I'm, oh my god, I need to stop looking. I don't I need, to, need to stop looking because that's the only one I actually really liked out of this fucking thing. Well then, let's, uh, let's go ahead Sorry. Then and look for <laughs> someone to raid. It's, it's about that time. And I know we uh, might have a little trouble finding someone in the just chatting <laughs> section. There are loads of people in the just chatting, darling. Well, by all means, then let's go ahead. Found it. Found these ice lollies. Yeah. Found them. Mm. Yeah, they're called bugs. Mm. Makes sense. <gasps> bugs. Bugs. Yeah. 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 I remember those. <laughs> you remember them? And they had I do. Bits in them. Yeah. Yeah. Can you send a Make... picture in the chat so we can see them? Bless. You? <laughs> yes. 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 I shall. I shall. And would you mind? Well, fuck it, man. I've got a what primary grade. Like, man? Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you want to just copy and paste me their handle. Yeah. There they oh, are. Nice. There they are. There they are. Look at them. Nice. <gasps> yeah. I remember yeah. them. <laughs> wow. Bugs. <laughs> All right, all it makes right. sense. Wow, Look, the, the talk. bug pops are also from Nestle, so that makes total sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Bugs. Bugs. Yep. He's, playing, he's playing Lies of P right now. Ooh. Yeah, I was actually looking into that at some point. Anyway, um, so everyone, y'all know the dealio. Hashtag out of the foxhole. Out of the foxhole. Mm-hmm. 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 Out of the fox. Out of the foxhole. <laughs> All right. Copy. He's got two. He's got two people watching him right now. So yeah, he probably enjoys some extra people. Yeah. You know we all about the uh we all about that. We all about supporting peeps and such. Oh, and you can tell and, and you guys can tell him I called him a bitch too. Oh So we'll see you all tomorrow. Out of the foxhole!